Hey guys, how's it going? It's Sam here from Set Cell Studios, uh, and today I'm going to take a quick look at editing some of the logo templates which are included with my Amaret font collection. Okay, so here we have the Amaret collection. Um, this consists of a, um, a sans serif uh, font and a, two script fonts as well. Um, if you open the logo templates folder you'll see the illustrator and the photoshop versions um, so let's jump into one of the illustrator versions and take a look at editing the colors and editing the text so i'm going to right click on one of them we're going to open with illustrator okay so i'm going to jump straight into editing the script text and to do that i'm going to grab the text tool the type tool you can press t or you can just select it in the toolbar and then I'm going to highlight the script text. Oh, I just want to say, uh, before you get started, make sure you install the fonts to your computer first before you open these logo templates, otherwise it won't recognize the, um, it won't, uh, recognize the fonts in the template. So yeah, make sure you install the fonts to your computer first and then get cracking on the logo template. So yeah, I've highlighted the uh, script text and it's recognized it as the Amaret Scripts alternate font. So I'm going to change this to my own name and so I'm going to put Sam and actually you know what I think I might use the Amaret uh, regular font so I'm just going to uh, the, uh, the, the regular version of the script font so I'm choosing that from the character panel uh, in the drop down menu and once you're happy with your text you can just um, press the escape button and there you go so I'm going to use the um, direct selection tool and I'm just going to move that across a bit and just centralize it with the rest of the text so now I'm going to edit the uh, the Robinson text so you can select it from the layers panel here or you, again you can just grab the text tool highlight the text and I'm going to change that to my own surname so it's like in parrot and again that's um, recognized the the sans version of the Amaret font and once you're happy with that, just press the escape button. And again, I'm gonna use the direct selection tool just to kind of centralize that visually with the script font. Um, and then I've just gotta change this little text at the bottom. So I'm gonna grab the type tool again. And ah, so you see here, I'm trying to click on the, on the small print there, but because this script font kind of uh, covers the whole the whole logo it's it's um, selecting that instead so what I'm gonna do is press escape and I'm going to go to the layers panel it's actually called Christina because that was the default um, name that was used on that script font and I'm just gonna press this little icon here so that's locked that layer now so that layer I can't edit it so if I grab the text tool uh, it won't recognize that layer now so I can go down to the oh so Let's go to the layers panel and select it from the layers panel and then use the type tool to highlight it and then the other the other uh, font shouldn't get in the way so let's highlight that and just type in font designer there we go i'm going to press escape and i'm going to use the direct selection tool just to move that up a bit and i think that looks pretty cool so we're going to look at um changing the colors now so you can use the direct selection tool to select background or you can just select it in the layers panel here um, and then if you just head over to the to the toolbar double click the foreground color the fill and you can use the color picker to choose whichever color you want i think i'm going to go for a just a slightly off white color maybe let's try that cool no but now i can't see any of the text so i'm going to choose the text layers from the layers panel I'm gonna unlock that top one so I can edit it again from the layers panel and then select it by clicking on the little uh, circle there and um, I'm going to choose the fill color uh, in the toolbar again but now I've got the text layer selected so it's going to edit the text layer uh, let's choose like a maybe like a sort of cranberry red let's see how that goes and press OK. There we go. So I'm going to change all the other um, text layers to the same color. So I'm going to head back and double click on that fill color and I'm going to copy this um, hex code in here. This is the color code. 
So I'm going to just right click and copy that and then I'm going to highlight the other text layer from the layers panel, double click on the color picker, the fill and then right click and paste the same color code in there so we've got the same color for the for the sans text as well as the script text and then I'm going to do the same thing for the small print paste the, the, uh, the color code into the color picker and then press escape so now we're all finished you can go to file and go to export save for web and you can choose whichever format you need let's do a jpeg and we'll crank the quality up and uh, we'll save that to my desktop logo and there it is okay so let's jump into uh, Photoshop now and take a look at some of the Photoshop templates um, let's edit something a bit different let's try this one so I'm gonna uh, I've just double clicked it but you can right click open with Photoshop if it opens with something else okay so now we're in Photoshop I'm going to go straight to the text tool again you can press the T button or um, just select the T icon from the toolbar and then I'm going to hover over the text again make sure you've installed the Amaret fonts to your computer before opening these logo templates so it recognizes the fonts so it's recognized that as the Amaret Sans font you can see down in the character panel here and let's change that to set sail set sail and then once you're happy with the text you can just press escape or press the little tick button at the top there uh, I think I'm going to move the rectangle out a bit so I'm going to choose the rectangle from the layers panel here on the right hand side and I'm going to use the rectangular marquee tool and then I'm going to right click and press free transform and then I can move the the rectangular box around so I'm just going to make that a bit wider just because the sail text um, came out a little bit further so let's try that and then once you're happy you can just press enter and let's change the bottom text to studios so I'm gonna highlight that bottom text type in studios and then press the little tick and so let's look at changing some of the colors now so let's do the background first so in the layers panel you'll see uh, the thumbnail here for the background you can see the color so I'm gonna double click on that and I'm going to choose the set cell studios colors so we'll go for like a dark gray background uh, and then we'll choose one of the text layers and um, from the from the color picker in the character panel I'm just going to click on that once and then choose uh, let's go for like a gold color that looks pretty good and then press OK and then We'll change the studio small print we'll change that to a sort of light white color and then I'm gonna just copy that hex code there f2 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 just right click and copy because when you, I'm gonna change the color of the rectangle now again you can just double click on the on the thumbnail and it will bring up the color picker and I'm just gonna paste in the same color code into the hex box and there we've got a new set cell studios logo so I'm gonna save as go to file save as and then go to my desktop and save it as logo Kogo logo there we go got there in the end logo 2.jpg I'm gonna increase the uh, the quality of the JPEG and press OK so if I pop to my desktop now I've got two nice logos there which were edited from the logos in the Amaret logo template. Now the cool thing about the um, the Illustrator ones is that you can scale them to any size so when I was exporting it to a JPEG you can select what dimensions you want the logo to be. I've actually done it quite a small dimension there but um, you might want to do it bigger but the good thing about the Illustrator templates is that you can scale them to any size and they won't lose any quality. So uh, yeah, that's the advantage of the Illustrator templates. But the um, the Photoshop st templates are still in a really high resolution, so uh, you should be fine to use either one, whichever one you're most comfortable with using. There we have it, guys. So I hope you found that useful. Um, 
there are I know there's a lot of different logo templates included there so if you're having trouble with using a different one or if you have any questions at all just drop me an email it's sam at setsellstudios.com and I'll be happy to help um, otherwise yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later